Hey everybody and thank you for joining me. I've just finished watching NVIDIA's GPU technology conference and it was awesome. There was some really exciting stuff discussed that will have a massive impact across the virtual reality space. I kind of think Meta or Facebook should be quaking in their boots. NVIDIA have really shown that they could be a big part of the metaverse or as they call it the omniverse going forwards. Hopefully in a couple of years data will stream into a digital twin of Earth running in omniverse an ensemble of physics ML models. Thinking back to the Connect event a couple of weeks ago, Facebook were full of these sort of dreams of what the metaverse could become. All these sort of pie in the sky ideas that sound great, but there was nothing really firm in place. Now NVIDIA did the exact opposite. They have come jam packed with applications and programs ready to go that are gonna shape the space. The headline is NVIDIA Omniverse. It's almost like a game engine, but it builds virtual worlds. There was lots of similar themes in this event as were discussed in the MetaConnect event. This will make it easier for people to sell limited edition digital objects like NFTs. We will buy and own 3D things. Teleporting around the metaverse is going to be like clicking a link on the internet. We will jump from one world to another like we do on the web with hypertext. For me, the big difference between NVIDIA's approach and Meta's is that NVIDIA are creating the platform to build the virtual spaces, while Meta are seeking to build those spaces themselves and will therefore remain in control of them. They spoke about the ability to create virtual spaces that mirror pre-existing physical spaces, both with the same physics or of suspended physics. But not only did they say it's possible, they've got many examples where they've already done it. It's all built using what they call USD, Universal Scene Description, and they described it as like HTML for the Omniverse. They talked about jumping from one scene to the next using wormholes, sort of the way that you would with hyperlinks on a web page. The deciding factor upon which version we grab hold of as society will probably be driven by whichever gets the most uptake. It's kind of like Blu-ray v HD DVD or Betamax v VHS. The reason why I think NVIDIA might be at the front is that they've already got a large number of big enterprise customers that are involved straight from the off. Since launch last year, Omniverse has been downloaded 70,000 times by designers in 500 companies. Their framework is going to be incredibly helpful for collaboration. For designers specifically, they've said that you can work in a space almost like it's a shared document. So changes made by one designer will immediately reflect in all designers that have got shared access. That's awesome. That means that you can create things so much easier. It's really going to help this sort of stay at home work revolution. They've shown us an immediate roadmap for how this is going to be launched with many features already in play now. The VR version is coming very, very soon and it looks incredible. Omniverse VR is the world's first full-frame interactive ray-traced VR. Now that sounds so exciting. That will mean precision recreation of real spaces with graphics that could be miles ahead of the competition. CEO Jensen went on to get into a few more finer details that were very, very exciting. He talked us through Maxine, which is their virtual robots platform. Now we've seen this being talked about for a year or two now and it looks really, really promising, but we've seen much more of it today and kind of pulled things together. He talks about how this can be used for enterprise and business customers, but also for entertainment and for gaming. What Maxine does is it uses AI to create virtual simulations of real life people. Paired with Reva, their AI speech program, it can do some really incredible things. With just 30 minutes of training, Reva can be trained to emulate a certain voice. The formulation of a problem is often more essential than its solution, which may be merely a matter of mathematical or experimental skill. To raise new questions, new possibilities, to regard old problems from a new angle requires creative imagination. Just imagine having a celebrity come and voice part of a game Reva gets trained to this celebrity voice and then when you're in that game you can have a direct conversation with that character voiced by the celebrity. It'd be incredible. And regardless of the voice being used, think how immersive it would be in a game if you could walk up to an NPC, direct a question to it and get a well thought out articulated AI response specific to what you've said. It would be so good. Jensen specifically said Maxine can be used as part of the Omniverse or built specifically into a game to animate a character. He went on to talk about so many other things that could have impact right across our society. I'm focusing on the VR specific points that really excited me. I absolutely recommend you go and watch the whole presentation, it's awesome. Now before you go, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, then a sub to the channel would be awesome. I'll see you on the next video, thank you very much, goodbye.